What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you're having a wonderful week. For today's video, I wanted to talk about a few of my current favorite diet foods. I say diet because these are foods that I like to turn to when I'm actually in a diet, when I'm in a caloric deficit because they give you some more bang for your caloric buck. So a lot of these foods are higher in volume, they're higher in micronutrients, higher in fiber. So they do fill you up without filling you up with a ton of calories because when you are dieting your calories get lower so it's more important to have higher volume foods versus just filling your intake with a bunch of cookies and feeling hungry all the time so these are a few of my current favorite foods that I thought you guys might find helpful um, a few tips to help me to stick to my diet when my calories are lower um, without feeling insanely hungry all the time because Hunger is going to happen when you're dieting, guys. It's not something you can avoid. If you're in a caloric deficit, if you're expending more calories than you're consuming, hunger is going to happen. But what I try to do is alleviate some of the hunger with some higher volume foods like these. So the first one here, I am obsessed with these. You guys probably saw that I used these in a previous vlog. But these are the Explore Cuisine brand of bean pastas. And basically, the ingredients are just the beans that they mention on the cover. I don't know how they do it. Black bean spaghetti, organic black beans. That's it. I don't know how they do it. But these foods are fantastic because it's pasta. I mean, it's not, you're not just sitting there eating beans, which I don't mind, but it's nice to change it up every now and then. They are high in protein, 22 grams per serving, 25, and there's four servings in each box. High in fiber, moderate to low in carbs, and low in fat. So these are great, great options for, I've been having them for lunch and or dinner, to be honest. Sometimes I'll just eat them with salt, and of course you can add sauce, you can add other stuff to it, but they're a great option for high protein without having to have pasta and something to get more protein in. It's kind of the best of both worlds. But they're also really filling because they're high in fiber. They've got great micronutrients, they're delicious. I highly recommend if you have not tried them yet. So this next one has been a go-to of mine for years. I like to pick up these bags of angel hair coleslaw. Now, you can buy a head of cabbage and shred it yourself, but it's a lot more time consuming. I've done this in a food processor, but a head of cabbage is like 50 cents. This bag is about a dollar thirty, and I usually eat the entire bag in one sitting. So go with the head of cabbage if you have a little bit of time. You can save some money. What I do with this is I use this as a base for a lot of meals. So I'll stick this in the skillet, saute it up with a bunch of seasonings, a bunch of salt. I'll use that as a base for my meal, and then I'll build on top of that. What it does is it adds a lot of volume to your plate. So this whole bag, about twenty carbs, seven fiber. It's actually got about five grams of protein, a bunch of vitamin K, vitamin C, iron folate, vitamin A, calcium. So you've got a lot of micronutrients in here, you get a lot of volume for less than 100 calories. So you have a more filling, higher volume meal with a lot fewer calories. Brussels sprouts, what I like to do is I buy this bag and then I'll cut them into about quarters and pop them in the air fryer. A little bit of cooking spray, some salt, some pepper, and they're delicious because you make them nice and crispy. Brussels sprouts have great, great amounts of vitamin C, vitamin A, a little bit of calcium, a little bit of iron. For this entire bag we've got 32 carbs. 12 fiber, and actually 12 grams of protein, no fat. Great for my lower fat days, and very, very high volume. Another one, rice cauliflower. I treat this just like the coleslaw. You can basically replace rice with riced cauliflower. Again, buying it prepackaged is a lot more expensive versus buying it yourself and dicing it up in a either a food processor or I've used, um, I've grated it myself, but it's more time consuming. So if you are pressed for time, this does make it a little bit more convenient, although it's like four times the price. For this whole container, we've got 20 carbs, 10 grams of fiber, 10 grams of protein, tons of vitamin C, good amount of calcium, iron, and a lot, a lot of volume. You definitely do want to cook this, otherwise it's not great by itself. I'll stick this in a skillet with some soy sauce, liquid aminos, and I'll use this as a base for a lot of my meals as well. Got your micronutrients. Very filling. One last thing that I do to help with uh, sweet tooth cravings, actually two things. This is my protein powder that I use. I am sponsored by this company, so I do have a discount code if you guys are interested, but I love, love this brand. They're coming out with two new protein flavors um, in just a couple weeks, but this one is quite delicious and I'm okay with using just this one right now. What I do with this is I mix it with a little bit of water and I make what I call protein sludge or protein pudding. 
So I mix it with just small amounts of water to where it makes like a little pudding type of consistency and I use that as a base for other desserts. So I've actually put ice cream in there but you get more volume. I'll also add some pudding mix sometimes. I'll add fruits. I'll add oatmeal. So it's a nice base. It adds some good sweetness to your day without a ton of calories. 25 grams of protein. So it's a rice and pea based protein as well. What I'll usually combine this with and this is my last little diet obsession. This lion's pack cookie dough. You eat this out of the jar. It's an edible cookie dough. There's no eggs or any animal products in it so it's safe to eat completely raw or you can bake it but I prefer to eat it in cookie dough form. And it's actually got some good protein in here. They have tons of flavors on their website. I'm not sponsored by them but it would be freaking awesome if I was because I am literally obsessed. So per two tablespoons we've got five fat, 11 carb, one fiber, and five protein. So actually a good amount of protein, but these guys are freaking fantastic. They taste delicious. I've tried almost every flavor and I have not been disappointed one single time. So I'll usually have two servings of that and I'll add it to my protein sludge and I have that as my dessert at night. It's a nice high protein, sweet, filling dessert. Freaking awesome. And it keeps me within my daily protein, carb, and fat goals very easily. Now, of course, you guys should know this is not all that I eat. I don't just eat bean pasta and cauliflower. I add those two meals to help fill up my plate. For breakfast, I'll make some type of pancake, waffle, or oatmeal. I'll add protein either in the form of textured vegetable protein. I'll add some protein powder. I'll have some tofu. For lunch, I'll usually have a bean pasta or some type of skillet stir fry with that cauliflower coleslaw. And then for dinner, I'll have the same thing as well. And then my protein snack at the end of the night. I can do more full day of eating videos for you guys if you're interested. So just make sure and comment below. I like those types of videos, but I don't know if they get kind of redundant after a while because I do tend to eat a lot of the same things. But if you guys are interested in them, I'm more than happy to put those out for you. Uh, that kind of sums up my current diet obsessions. And it changes. Usually I'll go through these obsessions for a cycle of anywhere from like 8 to 10 weeks. And then I'll find some new foods to obsess about. And then I'll go again for 8 to 10 weeks. Rinse and repeat. I tend to be a creature of habit. Once I find a food or a meal that I like, I try and eat it. I, I usually find myself eating it every day until I get tired of it and then I move on to the next thing. And that works for me and that's awesome. But I definitely make sure to have some of the fun stuff in there too. So I have three days per week where my intake is significantly higher. And on those days I'll be sure to include things like burgers, like this burger that we had in Austin last week that was phenomenal. Um, I'll make sure to have some ice cream or we'll have pizza. So I'll make sure to add in foods that don't necessarily fit that well into my low intake days, but they're foods that I enjoy. So I make sure to have them on my high days. Hope that makes sense. All right, guys, I wanted to say thank you for watching this video. Thank you for tuning in to Fitness Friday. If y'all did enjoy this topic and this video and you found it helpful in any way, make sure to hit that thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. If y'all have any questions about my diet or my prep, please leave them in the comments below. But I hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you'll have a wonderful weekend and we will see y'all in Monday's vlog.